If you enjoy playing Far Cry games, Far Cry 6 is their latest and greatest and it's honestly a banger but it has frame rate drop issues that can be annoying. My name is Abdullah, you're watching Gandero Technology and in this video we're fixing those frame drop issues in Far Cry 6. So the first thing that you're going to do as I always tell you when it comes to uh, frame rate fixes and graphic quality issues is to update your GPU driver. Now whether you have an Nvidia, AMD or Intel GPU that uh, means you're going to have to use a different utility. I have the Nvidia GPU so I'm just going to use the Nvidia app which they recently launched. Head over to the drivers tab. And in here, I can see that I already have the latest driver, but just in case, we're going to click on this button right here to check for updates and there are none. So if you have an update here, uh, make sure you install it. Also make sure that you're using a game ready driver instead of their studio drivers, which work better with creative apps like Premiere Pro, Photoshop and uh, DaVinci Resolve or anything like that. If you're playing games, make sure you're getting the game ready driver because that is the one optimized for. Performance. The next solution is to head over and try to see if Windows is using your dedicated GPU to run the game. This is especially a big problem on laptops. So what we have to do is press the start menu and just search for graphics settings. It's going to be the first option that you see. Click on it, we'll wait for it to load and in this list find Far Cry 6. So as you can see, uh, this is set to high performance because Windows was able to tell that this is a game and it needs to run on a GPU. But in case uh, that's not the problem with you, just click on options and make sure that your GPU is selected right here as it is uh, in mine. In my case, Windows automatically puts it on high performance, so I don't need to change this. But um, we're going to uh, change this to high performance just to make sure that we get the best possible FPS. Go ahead, click save. And that's it, you're good to go. If that doesn't fix the problem either, uh, you're going to have to disable full screen optimizations that may apply to Far Cry when you launch the game. Now, doing this is rather easy. You can just search for Far Cry 6 and then click on open file location. So this will open the shortcut. We're going to right click this again, go to show more options. Work. Oh wow, it's a web document because Ubisoft. Alright, so we're going to manually locate the game. I have the game saved in uh, my D drive. You might have it in a different place. Case in point, you have to find the Far Cry 6 EXE depending on where you've installed the game. Now, right click this, go to properties, head over to compatibility, and check this disable full screen optimizations option. Once this is done, go ahead, click apply, click OK, and you're good to go. Additionally, one weird fix for this that you can try is disabling game mode on your Windows PC. So if I search for game mode in uh, my start menu, click on game mode settings, uh, you can see that game mode on my system is on and uh, Far Cry seems to be playing ball with it so far. But if you're feeling uh, going through problems running the game, try disabling game mode once and then just running it on your system as it is, provided of course you meet the minimum requirements. This is a big game, this is a heavy game to run, so make sure your PC has enough horsepower. Last but not least, uh, your best bet is to lower graphic settings if you're experiencing problems with this. So I've launched up the game, we'll give it a second to fire up and go through all the theatrics that Ubisoft has put in here. All right, so for this final step, you're going to have to load into the game itself. And the first thing that we're going to do is head over to options and then video. Now, there are a few things to keep in mind here. Make sure that your refresh rate is set to the refresh rate of your monitor, that the video adapter is set correctly. Uh, it's set to my GPU. I can set it to Arc Graphics, but that will nuke my game so i'm just going to keep uh, it on rtx 4060 this is my gpu make sure that the frame rate is set to 144 you can always test this in benchmark window mode is full screen um 
and then uh, resolution display aspect ratio all of this is fine then we're going to uh, quality and once again uh, just try disabling things uh, dxf reflections uh, adaptive sharpening uh, you can try if your pc is not exactly working with all of this but just for peace of mind just turn it off so uh, you can try lowering all of these settings uh, the game seems to run pretty fine uh, on my system when it's on high and then in advanced settings make sure v uh, sync is off make sure uh, enable frame rate lock is off um, field of view scaling is only recommended to lower when you're on a multi-monitor display so that's not something we're caring about adaptive resolution is important because if you're using something like fidelity fx uh, resolution or any sort of upscaler you need to uh, tell it that okay you can work accordingly uh, on a given fps or on a given resolution you can turn it to 30 you can turn it to 60 so this will make sure that your frame rate will set b60 fps and the resolution of the game will keep going up or keep going down depending on how you want the frame rate to work i don't need this as a feature because i anyways don't like playing on 60 fps but you might be using this and then this is the resolution scale this is set to one so the game renders on the resolution of my monitor but if you want you can lower this and then you just have um, you can turn on fsr and have it work with ultra quality so this will essentially give you a better fps so images are rendered in a lower resolution here and then upscaled it's a lot like nvidia's uh, dlss except we got fsr here i'm not sure why there is no dls support for this game yet but you can change this from quality to performance to make sure that you get the best possible often uh, i don't use this so this is disabled on uh, my system and now as you can see if i run a test in benchmark i should get around 90 fps which i feel like is the sweet spot for the game i mean we can obviously go higher but uh, 90 fps is what gives me enough quality enough fps on the native resolution so that works fine so this seems to be logged on to 60 but there are no frame rate drops or anything of the sort going on here so I can exit this benchmark, come back out. Uh, so yeah, these are all the settings that you need to be mindful of. And now if, as you can see my current frame rate, oh wow, you can't see the frame rate, but it's currently 132. And if I go back into continue my game, drops to 30 FPS on the loading screen. Uh, no, 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 I don't want to be in a plane. And it works great. Um, there are no drops, no jitters. Mouse doesn't seem to be working for some reason. But yeah, that's how easily you can fix uh, any frame rates or stutters that you might be running into when playing Far Cry 6. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.